Farlington Marsh's nature reserve is a site in Portsmouth owned and managed by the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. It is a Ramsar site, a site of special scientific interest, a special area of conservation and a special protection area. When the tide goes out, the mudflats are left exposed. These are intertidal areas where sediments have been deposited by the tide. These exposed layers of mud create a rich feeding ground for waders such as Dunlin, a protected winter visitor. Here we can see them probing for mollusks and crustaceans. However, the mudflats are only a temporary feature, as in a few hours time, the tide will come in and they'll be hidden under the water. The maintenance of mudflats is important in preventing coastal erosion. Unfortunately, mudflats are under threat from global warming and sea level rises. And in the UK, mudflats are a biodiversity action plan priority habitat. Farlington Marshes is incredibly popular with visitors of all ages and is a fantastic site to get up close to wildlife. Dogs are also welcome on this site, however, must be kept on leads to protect the wildlife and grazing animals such as cattle. Unfortunately, high levels of footfall do create one issue, especially in the wet winter months, turning the grass paths into mud. This grey wagtail doesn't seem to mind though. As we enter the central part of the reserve, we find the grass-covered areas of the marshes. In the summer, this is a flower-rich grazing marsh, home to cattle placed on the reserve to maintain the site. These grassy marshes are rich in invertebrates, providing food for many species. Here we see a northern lapwing, a member of the plover family, looking for its next meal. The grassy areas also provide food to vegetarians, such as rabbits, moorhens, and in particular, geese. Farlington Marshes in the winter is home to an impressive population of Brent geese. Around 91,000 dark-bellied Brent geese travel to Britain every autumn from their nesting grounds in Siberia. Here they spend the winter in sheltered areas and graze on the coastal fields. Brent geese are a very small goose, only around the size of a mallard duck and at the end of January and beginning of February, they flock together in huge numbers, preparing for the long journey back to Arctic Russia. Brent geese migrate in large family groups, flying in wavering lines or flocking loosely, rarely in a V formation. Despite how remote Farlington Marshes seems, as we can see here, it is surrounded by urban Portsmouth, it is vital to protect this area for Brent geese and other key species that rely on the green space to survive. Another key section of the reserve are the multiple brackish channels which interlink between the lakes and pools. These areas are a haven for wildfowl, including widgeons, teals, gadwall and pintail all flocking together here in the winter months. Little groups can often be seen diving here, searching for fish and invertebrates. The brackish lakes and pools are surrounded by reed bed. Reed beds colonise open water and wet ground. Without seasonal cutting and management, the reeds would leave a considerable litter layer that would eventually provide opportunities for succession and a wet woodland would form. Reed beds are a priority habitat for conservation. They are one of the most important habitats for birds, including nationally rare red data book birds such as bearded tit, bittern and marsh harrier. Marsh harriers are a medium-sized raptor which predate on frogs, small mammals and birds like moorhens and coots. Typically these birds migrate to Africa in the winter. However, Farlington marshes is so rich it enables this population to stay year-round. We can clearly see what an important nature reserve Farlington Marshes is. Its wildlife forms an impressive spectacle and is a place any nature lover must visit. We must also protect this site so it may be enjoyed for many generations of wildlife and humans to come.